We're back for a review, and we've not done a review in a while. So here we are reviewing what I found for Lee at Aldi. He loves to drink Fireball. And so I purchased him, and he likes candy. So I purchased him some Fireball Whiskey, non-alcoholic candies. And it's dark chocolate, which I don't like Fireball. I think it tastes like Colgate toothpaste. You've never had that. When I would spend the night with my aunt, we didn't have Colgate at home. My Can aunt. Brush my teeth with Colgate. My aunt Dot. This is the real stuff. Sorry, I wasn't born in 1975. And we would brush our teeth, and that stuff would set your mouth on fire. It was so spicy. So this is my first time trying the Fireball candy. Go ahead. And y'all know I don't like candy. So it has a liquidy center. Don't buy mm. it. What'd you say? Don't buy it. Don't buy it, I agree. Cool. Yeah, it tastes like Kirkland's a little bit. Those candles, gross. Ugh. Mm. I need to change the name. It needs to be called... Um, Chocolate colored cherries. Cinnamon fireplace <laughs> and so this i bought at burke's outlet in southern pines i had a light lunch that day and mom and i had not eaten supper yet and i was absolutely starving and my sugar was dropping so i said i gotta have something now so i picked these up they didn't have a great selection and these have you tried those yet I was going to, but I didn't know if I could. I don't know. You thought they were fancy for a special occasion? Sea salt, caramel, roca. Roca. Which one? Roca. So they're wrapped individually. And I'm just going to tell y'all, I did not like it, which is no surprise. Well, I didn't like that, man, so I didn't try it, so you, you got to eat it good. So video. this is what it looks like. You ready? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why is it so, so salty? <laughs> it's like putting a handful of salt in your mouth. Oh. No, it's not. To me, it tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut, which I don't like. Mm. Um. something else I don't know like um, almond like cherry almond flavor mm. nice. I do not like that at all Spinning. I'd rather eat the fireplace cinnamon mm. so disgusting y'all so don't buy that <laughs> all right and last but not least I want to tell y'all what has helped my foot tremendously any of y'all that have foot problems, you need to try what I'm about to show you. It's only $25, I found it on Amazon. I was over at mom and daddy's and I saw an advertisement for a knee, uh, not a knee brace, but it's a brace that goes below the knee for people that have sciatic problems. And I developed sciatic problems when I was pregnant with all three of the kids. They killed my back, literally killed it dead. And um, I'd started developing a problem on the top of my foot, not plantar fasciitis, but on the very top of my foot, I developed that issue several years ago. Well, I'd gone for you know, x-rays, I couldn't ever find anything wrong with my foot. I'd had shots in the top of my foot multiple times. And this past summer, my foot was giving me such a fit, like I would come home literally crying. And I noticed that it hurt the worst when I sat down. And I thought, I wonder if that is my sciatic causing the top of my foot problem, because no other doctor had mentioned that. 
So when I saw this advertisement for the $25 Be Active Sciatic Leg Brace, I thought, what can I lose? I have spent gobs of money on my foot trying to get relief and nobody can help me. So I put this on and within 30 minutes, my foot pain was relieved. And I'm telling you, it has just been a wonderful blessing for me to get this. Some people say that Walmart sells, sells these in the As Seen on TV section. I'm not sure about that, but I'll post a link and you can get these on Amazon. So if you have sciatic problems, if you have a foot problem, if you have a low back problem or a pain in your butt, I suggest trying this. Um, you can wear it on either leg and it has the L and an R. So if you're on the L, it goes up. If you're on the right, it goes this way. But it has a little uh, disc in it, this little circular disc. And you place it on the back of your leg, on your calf. And I'm telling you, it was a miracle for me and a blessing, So and a cheap one. So if you have any kind of back problems, foot problems, like I said, knee problems, give it a try. It's worth it. It may help you, it may not, but $25, you don't lose too much. So Ch Ava, show them your Valentine nails. Valentine nails? Yes, it's, she got done at Royal Nail in Southern Pines and Royal, they just redid their place because the car ran into their building. <laughs> And so Ava said it's nice, done up nicely. Did you have a good experience? Yeah. Yeah, so she had a nice experience at Royal Nail. Did you get boba afterwards? Mm hmm Boba, where did boba come from? Scrollicious. Scrollicious, I have to interpret for her because Ava's a low talker, if you haven't noticed. She's like that girl on Seinfeld that Jerry was dating and she was a low talker. I tell Ava that all the time. So, Scrollicious Boba, and do you recommend it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10? All right, well, we'll see. Huh? We'll see y'all next time.